everybody and welcome back to Manifestation Budgets. Um, joining me today for cash stuffing for week two of July. Um, it's going to be a pretty quick video because we've not got too much to stuff this week. Um, I was hoping to have my switch bonus from switching from NatWest to, uh, sorry, from Virgin to NatWest. Unfortunately, I put the bloody wrong details in, um, which meant that the switch just wasn't happening. Nobody thought to tell me I didn't get any alerts from either bank which is really annoying but I rang up yesterday and they explained that I'd put the wrong card number in or something like that so yeah I've not got that incentive yet um so I've redone the switch and I'm hoping to have that 200 pound probably next month's budget now um which is a little bit of a shame because I was hoping to have that to stuff um I've also not got any side hustle money yet because I think I'm up to about 10 pounds again on Vinted but I'm going to wait till it's at least 30 before I withdraw it so hopefully in the coming weeks I'll tell a little bit more and hopefully we'll have some side hustle money so for now we've just got the normal weekly budget so let's give it a count and we've got 20 40 60 70 80 90 95 100 so I'll pop this in here and then we'll have a little look what's left in my envelopes. I think it's just changed this week. We've been a little bit spendy. So yeah, nothing left in any of these. I'll just get the change out. Yeah, we've been a bit spendy this week. So we've just got 50, 70, 90, 110, 130, 146. So, 146, and then we'll get the penny challenge out of here. Fingers crossed slightly. So, yeah, penny challenge, 146. So, if we minus the 94. We've got 52, so 94 and 52. I know some people um, do this a little bit quicker by adding notes. I'm literally just doing my change at the end of each week. So it probably will take me quite a long time, um, but that's fine. I don't really mind. Um, I'm happy for it to, to take as long as it needs really. But I just, because I wasn't doing a penny challenge, I was just popping my change into a jar and I just didn't know how much was in there. At least with this, I can see when I'm working towards a decent amount to withdraw. So I've just got it in one of these little jars with a little sticker on the top. Um, and then, yeah, we'll just leave that as that. So first of all, I owe a £10 note to this because I had to take one out um, the kids had a birthday party and I didn't have time to go and get a gift and I just put £10 in the envelope so I had to just get it out of one of my wallets. So yeah, I owed that to that already. So there's £10 less in the budget um, than there should be. Um, I'm not putting anything into challenges apart from the dice challenge. So as usual, we're going to have our social money um, and that's £30. We're going to give the dice a roll. Oop preferably not off the table and it's a zero now I I think one week I was like oh it's a zero it's nothing it's not it's ten a zero is ten <laughs> so there we go let's put the ten in mark off a ten so that's just 20 for social so let me get my wallets out like I say, I've not got any change. I've not got enough this week to kind of stuff anything else. Um, but hopefully in the next video, I will have some side hustle money or maybe some money to roll over into challenges. So not a very exciting video this week. Oh, never mind. Okay, so back to my purse. We're going to put the £20 in our social envelope. I've got plans today with a friend. Uh, apart from that, I don't have anything else planned, so I'm hoping that should be enough for the week. Food, £20. Petrol, £30. 
and baby £10. So yeah, that's all there is for this video. Pretty boring really, but like I say, I was hoping to have a little bit more money um, to stuff today, but it is what it is, never mind. I need to make sure I don't do anything like that in the middle of the night anymore. Maybe wait till I'm a bit more awake so I'll put the right details in, that would help. Um, just to kind of talk you through kind of my plans going forward um, in terms of challenges and things. Like I say, the penny challenge is gonna be a really slow burner. My dice challenge is gonna continue being the one that is kind of taken out of my social. I do wanna get involved in more of the challenges that I've got. Um, so when I've got a little bit more money that I can stuff, I'll be using them and like I say, any rollover money from here um i have this christmas challenge that i started um that's to save 100 pounds and i've got 50 pounds in so far so i think this is a 30 and this is a 20 that needs to be completed as soon as possible so i'm hoping any side hustle money that i get um if it's not going towards the clothing fund it will go towards the christmas fund um and then i can complete this challenge and then i can move on to the um, christmas challenge that's in one of my binders um I then also have, so these are from Abundant Budgets, these are her kind of original savings challenges. She's got so many lovely new ones now, but she does them um, slightly smaller. Um, so I've got this one as well, the One Calendar Moon. Um, so I think I, I don't think I'm gonna do that towards Christmas because I've got another Christmas challenge, but I'm gonna just complete this challenge anyway and then I'll decide where I'm gonna put it to. Um, I do need things like new bedding, um, and there's a few bits and pieces that I need for like kind of around the house. So I might start a bit of a housing fund and use one of these savings challenges for that. So yeah, thank you so much for joining me. Thank you again for all the um, love on my recent video. It got more a lot more attention. Um, I'm just over 400 subscribers now and I will do a giveaway at 500. So if you're not already subscribed, please consider doing so. Um, remember to give the video a like and I love receiving your comments um, and I'll always try and respond to everybody where I can. Um, and I've really caught with everyone's videos recently. So hopefully you've seen my um, name popping up um, and commented on your videos. If I don't, please don't um, be afraid to drop me a little message and just say that I've not checked your channel out yet because I will do and I will subscribe and I will have a little look. I do tend to focus kind of more on the um, UK cash stuffers just because obviously they're, they're stuffing similar money to me and they're also dealing with a similar cost of living crisis. But I am always open to watching um, channels from different countries. So please do drop me a message if I'm not watching you already. Um, have a great week, everybody. And I will catch you later on um, in the week or next week depending on when we have some money to stuff take care bye